I almost bought this game right out for 60 bucks, like Wasteland and buying it brand new, and in a way, I'm glad I really didn't. See, I love RPG titles, and I play all different types from tactical ones to turn-based to even shooter hybrids. All different ones that truly make me want to feel a part of the world that they're giving me. So, you heard my opening remarks, and you're probably thinking, man, he must hate this game. That's incorrect. I'm gonna break down what I really did love about this game, but I won't pass by its flaws. So let's get right into Divinity, Original Sins, Enhanced Edition. Jesus, that's a long fucking title. The world is something special. It's filled with the typical enemies like spiders, zombies, pirates, and giant crabs. Yes, that's, you know, typical for a Western RPG. I know, it's weird that you put all those in one, but you do. However, the little details on each character, the particle effects, and most of all, the areas to explore are all vast and very enjoyable to view. Combat is a strong feature here. Before I start talking about the bad, because there is some bad with it, let me state that I love the fact this game is tough. Not many RPGs give me the feeling of barely winning a battle. Although, later on, this game becomes a lot easier due to perks and gaining levels, but that's just the nature of an RPG. It still remains pretty tough and the toughest opening I've played since maybe Dark Souls. Redoing battles many times to figure out how to win. Also, the fact that each battle can change on a whim due to something exploding or mixing elements truly keeps it exciting throughout. I've been hobbled. I appreciate the story staying light. There's some good humor in it, especially when speaking to animals if you have the pet perk. I also really enjoyed the chats with ghosts or meeting crazy people in the wild. It's fun and bouncy dialogue, kept me engaged throughout, and definitely past 30 hours, so that's always a good thing. Also, content is just, whoa. We're talking about 100 to maybe 200 easy. And it all plenty of options of how to play this game. There really is no set path. There's no unkillable NPC. There's really just complete and utter freedom. And even though they give you that and they tell you don't kill this person, you could, and that's gonna fuck up your story. You can't finish the mission, but they give you the freedom to do that. That's something I really like because a lot of games offer the illusion of freedom. This game just lets you do whatever the fuck you want and you could collect and win and do whatever you really want to do. Now on the bad, well the freedom is wonderful, it also keeps maybe a good one third of people playing this game really to enjoy it. Because there is no real guide, there's no tracker for the mission, you just have to read. A lot. So much in fact, I would have to occasionally look to a guide because I missed something in one of the notes. A freaking god! I haven't done that since I was like 15! Freedom is nice, but prepare to get lost quite a bit if you don't read every little goddamn book, note, and guide in this game. The combat is fun, like I said, and definitely challenging. What can be annoying though, or good at points, is how quickly a battle can change due to the AI. Maybe he was going to the left instead of the right when you reload the save file, and that totally changes everything. Blowing up a container, boom, the whole battle changes, you win or you lose. It's kind of more like just luck, especially with the AI. And just expect to die a lot. This should have said, just like Dark Souls, you're gonna die a total fucking amount of times that makes no sense just a lot okay that's what you got you're gonna die a lot also the game is slow there's no running button so that took me a while to get used to and be prepared to look at a lot of the same areas and revisiting a lot of the same ai and going through somewhat of a slow battle system there's always there always should be a skip enemy animation of any rpg that's turn-based and of course or speed it up but in this no you just gotta sit while the enemy walks its slow ass or sometimes and this is the worst they're talking to each other in battle nobody got time for that shit the story, also well fun and whimsical, can be really boring if you don't give a shit. Because you really don't. A lot of these characters just come as kind of blend because 
it to me it comes from the production value we don't get to see the characters up close you don't get to see them really talk you don't see their facial animations you don't get to see them talking to one another interacting it's just overhead and that was really cool for like the early 2000 rpgs but it's not so fun to view anymore we want to feel and see these characters not just head voices and then a small animation of someone falling over when something tragic happens it's just not doing it for me anymore i'm sorry which part of man that ain't got to shake your head? Overall, Divinity is hardly a bad game. It's such a mixed game for me. My main gripes come from things that can easily be changed or fixed for fe uh, future titles. Its production value is way above Wasteland 2. It looks better, and I put 30 to 40 hours into this game already, so it's definitely, clearly, in my opinion, a better game than that one. It features more content, and th the content-wise is more than most games, let's just say that, and a tough world to get through. But it also contains a lot of old features that just need to retire from video games in general. So, I'm going to be giving Divinity Original Sins Enhanced Fucking Edition, because I gotta say the old title, because people are going to think I'm talking about the old one, a 7.5 out of 10. And I think it's a solid, good RPG title that could use some upgrades to make it feel even better with the future titles. If you don't really care about the story like I do, or the slowness to the battles, you could probably bump this one up to an 8.5 or even a 9. I say rent it for RPG fans, you might absolutely love it, some might absolutely dread it. Everybody else that's not an RPG fan, don't even bother, this won't change your mind on the genre. I want to thank everybody who's watched my review, I hope you agree, or if you disagree, please stay below, but please be nice. We don't need argument, we're a little above that over here, and if you really enjoy it, hit the like button, hit subscribe, all that good stuff, you know. Everyone have a good day, more reviews incoming, Whitey out. Yeah.